What's up, guys? Welcome back. Today, uh, well, it's if you'd watched the last video where I cooked that trout in Death Valley, uh, it's still that day. I've been driving for what feels like forever in Death Valley, and it is it's deserted. I mean, there's a main stretch that everyone drives, and then after that, you get to whatever this section is, and this section no one drives. It's been a long time since I have seen a car or a gas station. I have a little over half a tank, which makes it a long ways. So I'm not, not super worried about it, but it's getting more nerve wracking the longer I go. And so today is kind of going to be my journey to the next location. And I'm going to end there by doing a catch and cook. But really right now I'm stopped because I'm tired and I need to make some coffee. God, I seriously thought I'd never find a gas station. <laughs> it's a good thing I filled up last time I could because I was getting pretty low. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going, get to Las Vegas soon. Is there any way that you could sort of just sock me out so that like I, I don't know that I'm at work? In here, could I come home and think that I've been fishing all day? made it. So I paid. I paid $60 for this room. That being said, this is not bad at all. It's a lot better than some hotels I paid significantly more for. So I'm pretty happy with it. I guess in Vegas it's really competitive. But yeah, it's got a sink, fridge, coffee. Well, I guess I'll show you the bathroom if you want to see it. It's uh, it's it's interesting. Definitely an old style right there. So it's kind of funny. So I, all right, hopefully I'm gonna get out to see the strip, but I think I'll be back here on my way back. But right now I'm getting all of my gears pre-set up, charging things, downloading videos. Uh, I also decided I've been wearing that for like three days in a row. So I'm gonna clean that in the, the tub and I'm also gonna do some dishes in the sink. So this, uh, this stop is multi-purpose. so nice to be able to stop and clean some stuff before going back out. I'm not sure if someone placed that billboard there on purpose or if that's just a coincidence, but it's so funny that it's sitting right over the hotel. Had I noticed that last night, I probably would have been a little skeptical about staying there, but it wasn't that bad. The coffee wasn't great, but that's okay. Uh, the coffee I've been having is not that great either. In fact, I made a jug of it. Looks like sludge, but it's gonna be like five hours. It is a little bit past nine, so. Anyway, let's, let's get on our way. Well, we finally made it. I uh, accidentally went the long way, but we are at the entrance of Lee's Ferry. It's a lot warmer than I expected. It's like 100 degrees. So anyway, I went down there and there was a lot of fish that were actually jumping and you could see them swimming all over. So I have high hopes that we can catch them. Although it is kind of a high pressure area, but the fishing here is known to be fantastic. So I'm excited to try it out. And of course the scenery here, is also spectacular it's this is incredible the views here so anyway i'm gonna go pick up my fishing license i gotta get that i want to get some gear and recommendations for what i should fish with now hopefully this fly shop actually opens unlike the other one in kern or at least i don't know what kind of crazy hours they had but i went there quite a bit to figure out when they were going to be open otherwise it's going to be a long drive to wherever i can actually 
buy a fishing license. Who knows where that'll be? But yeah, let's go check out the shop. If you park right here, there's all these paths that go all over the place. It takes you right to where these big trees are right here. Okay. Uh, this is a little bit deeper, but you can still fly fish from here. And then down here is where they always stand to fly fish. Okay. On this side of where the pyrea goes into it, um, that's my favorite place to go fishing uh, on the walk-in area. Also down here at Pyrea Beach where the water gets really fast, um, if, you're, if you're spin fishing and you can cast that far, this right here is a really good place to catch fish too, even though it's... Alright, so I'm just gonna get rigged up here. Got my got my fishing license, got some advice on where to go. So let me get my stuff together. We're gonna get out on the water, hopefully catch a couple fish. I found a sweet camp spot and I'll show you it today as long as I have the sunlight. Alright, so I got it all tied up. Of course I got the indicator. And below that is a orange scud and a blue midge. So I was told to use this at the fly shop. So I'll give this a try to start with. Hopefully we can catch a couple fish on it and just go back and cook dinner and get ready for tomorrow. Yeah. on that car. Then Oh come on, you look like dinner. This bank's deep, I don't want to fall in. Got all my camera gear. Uh, so I'm playing it slow. He's gotta come in real close for me. Beauty. That's fantastic. I just need one if it's that's good enough for dinner. No doubt. Look at that. Well, he's off the hook, so I gotta be careful. I need to keep one for dinner. And this is the one. Gorgeous fish. Nice rainbow. My first fish. This is, uh, I try a new spot. I didn't stay in that other one very long because this one just looked fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and keep this one. And if I can catch a small one, I'll keep that in addition to this. But really, that's enough for dinner for me anyway. That was pretty easy. And good advice on the blue midge. That's exactly what they told me to use. And sure enough, turned out a fish on the first cast here. Now let's fish for some sport and maybe keep one more. I have about an hour till I need to go cook. Let's try it here. It's a lizard or a snake. I don't know. 
no. I want to try this uh, cicada because I hear a couple of them. I've heard the hatch isn't that good this year, but who knows? Maybe they'll maybe they'll take it. But for now, let's just toss this a couple times and see how it goes. All right, this is going to be hard to cast, but I think I might be able to get one on it. Man, they're jumpers. Oh, that's a bummer. Beauty. Look at that. Go ahead and get the release. Okay, the fishing here is really good and I really have to go. shop that if I wanted to camp somewhere for free that this would be a good spot. I already knew there was a bunch of BLM land here. She just told me to make sure to close the gate behind me. Uh, she didn't exactly say why but I'm assuming the cattle is out here somewhere. It's not what this van is made for but I think it's gonna do it. It's got enough clearance and the rocks don't look super sharp. So I think we'll be good. <laughs> Unreal. And I'm the only person out here, surprisingly. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna cook up that fish tonight. This will actually be a catch and cook. I just, I really need something to eat. Yeah, there's even a fire pit, so I could make a fire, but we're not gonna do that. But we are gonna cook dinner. I'm gonna turn the van around so we're not facing the wind. But yeah, look at this, this canyon. It's something else. And the fishing's incredible. So. All right, so we're gonna do this pretty fast because I'm running out of light and I'm kind of hungry tired all of the above so I'm just keeping it simple I'm gonna have that fish I have I'm gonna put it in the wrap or a, I'm gonna put it in a wrap and then I have some other snacks like bananas and whatnot but I'm not gonna show that because you guys don't care about that so there's our trout I'm gonna clean him out real quick make sure he's ready to go and then we're gonna start cooking
Now I did get most of the scales off, but not all of them. Whoa, perfect fit. Okay, so I got the place cleaned up a little bit. Funny, I cleaned it this morning and yet it still gets pretty trashed. Uh, living in small places can be pretty tough. But I got a fish here and some wraps. I've got other snacks too. I've got some banana chips and other stuff somewhere. Anyway, I'm pretty hungry now, so I'm going to dig right in. Today I had a lot of travel to do, so it made it difficult to get everything I needed to do because I wanted to fish, get my license, and I kind of completely forgot that I also needed to pick up some food. So, it's a good thing I caught some fish. Otherwise, <laughs> I would have been in trouble. I would have been eating wraps and banana chips. So I'll be here the next two days. So I'm going to do a lot more fishing in those two days because I don't have to do any driving other than get off of this road and down to Lee's Ferry. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this was a different style of video, and I, I don't know if you could tell, but I was very exhausted in the end. But the next few days are gonna be super exciting. The fishing here seems amazing, so I'm excited to see what the next few days have in store. I'm sure it's gonna make for some awesome videos. And so anyway, thank you so much for watching, and if you wanna see those next few videos as I finish up this trip, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you you're actually notified when those videos come out. And if you like the video, I always appreciate the like. So thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you next time.